Hi, Libra. Star of fire there, Libra. This is a general reading for the sign of Libra. If you have Libra anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. It is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. You know what is for you and what is not for you. Always practice good discretion when seeking advice or looking for information. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Libra. Libra, this week the moon is in the first quarter phase. The first quarter phase through the uh, constellation of Aquarius, passions will be on hyperdrive. We may be tempted to see all the things that have not been done or the things that still need to be done. We can counteract this negativity by making time to celebrate how far we have come and what we have already accomplished. The final days of this week, the moon will move into the waxing gibbous phase and move through the constellations of Pisces, Aquarius, or excuse me, Pisces, Aries, and Taurus. Pisces heightens our awareness to our environment. Aries can leave us feeling rushed and Taurus asks us to seek, seek self-respect. I will post um, and link additional self-care and ways to maybe overcome some negativity, some tools and information in the description box. So please do visit that description box, Libra. And we have the wonderful Two of Pentacles as the foundation, the basis of this reading. And the, the Two of Pentacles really is about seeking balance, um, balance between the seen and the unseen. Um, maybe quite possibly at this time, Libra, something in your life may be seeming a little bit out of balance. And it's forced, it's pushed by this beautiful Nine of Pentacles. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is really about um, fertility and um, fertile abundance. And so in an attempt to achieve fertile soil, fertile abundance, quite possibly there's something a little bit unbalanced or a little bit out of balance there. Let's see how this plays into the rest of your reading here, Libra. And we start off with the banquet card, the nine of cups. And this is in your work life, your uh, professional life, your public life. Um, quite possibly how you generate finances or how you manage finances, how you manage, how you present yourself, how you present your, your, how you present your work to others. And the aid of Wands is a sudden and quick change, a different situation, something different. And the Ace of Pentacles is the gift of a financial gift of financial. It's about finances this week for you, Libra. And the Seven of Wands needing to make a change. A change needs to be made. Something needs to be addressed. Something needs to be looked at. Libra, complications 
or difficult situations, those difficulties, those complications are really what cause us to step outside of our comfort zone. And it is the difficulties, the hurdles that we face, the challenges that we face that really move us to change our directions or to change our direction. And we change our direction onto a path that we may not have taken if not for the complication or difficult situation. There may be a change that is being presented to you. Or maybe even you have the feeling that this change is being forced on you. And at this time, time you're having a difficult time processing or accepting this change. Libra, it's okay to step back and take time to really consider and process this change and really wait for maybe a better deal or a better offer, do not sign any deals or reach any agreements until well into December. The dust really does need to settle here before you'll really be able to see the bigger picture and make a well thought out, well planned on decision. Don't be rushed into making a decision or don't be rushed into making a choice until you really have had a chance to process, really have had a chance to think things over. And when you're considering that, do consider how this change that is occurring or this change that you would like to make, how is that going to bring more balance and harmony into your life? In your home life, in your private life, in your personal life, the end, an ending, a new beginning, king of cups and victory. Look at those beautiful, wonderful cards. Something is ending. There's been a time of chaos. There's been a time of turmoil, of conflict, but that is coming to an end and happier times are coming in for you. Happier times where you feel really um, spiritually and emotionally fulfilled and really being able to um, master um, our emotions and really be able to find balance with that. That is where the victory is coming in. And again, it is about finding that balance and really determining and really finding what is in, in what is important to you and how your thoughts and your feelings towards 
what is important to you affects those things. An old friend or old lover may be trying to come back into the picture or really just kind of pop into the scene or maybe even just do a quick check up on you or a check in with you. And Libra, you may be tempted to uh, entertain them or you may be tempted to let someone back in your life. Remember that the people in your past or the people from your past are in your past for a reason. Be guarded, stay on guard, and really know that just because you have changed does not mean that they have changed. And sometimes when we let the wrong past people back into our lives, they have a way or they have a tendency to draw us back into old behaviors or old patterns. And really quite possibly that could be this ending card that we're seeing is that when that person from your past tries to come back into your life, you are really just going to put an end to the old patterns and old behaviors and take a past because you have a bright and wonderful future ahead of you. And we don't want to risk anything. We do not want to risk anything that would hinder the happiness and joy that is here for us. Final thoughts, final messages. We have this beautiful Queen of Wands, the Devil, the moving on, leaving the past in the past and cutting ties. I do like that we see these wonderful, beautiful Queens here for you in your final thoughts, final messages. The worldly things, the physical, the possessions, has really, you have a new view of the worldly, a new view of the possessions, and they're not meaning as much for you as they once had. Moving on into uncharted territory, cutting ties with the past. You know, Libra, staying in the present moment is going to be key for you to enjoy these wonderful, the wonderful holiday season that is coming up. Not looking to the past, not looking to the future, but really staying in the present moment and appreciating the present moment, cutting ties with the past. And that is the message that I have for the sign of Libra. Thank you, Libra. You have a blessed week.